Hi everyone, resharing of this video that I did a while ago to show you how to import displacement inside of uh, the brush or displacement that you made in Mari and you want to bake it directly onto the model. So in order to do that, something that I did first was to import a white texture onto my model. You need to import a white texture because if you want to apply displacement directly onto your model, you will need to have a white texture that will be um, visible on your model. Something that I did as well was to add a little bit more subdivision. So you see this model uh, rise to 40 million of polygons. I started to add a layer in order to separate the different displacements that I had. So uh, texturing XYZ separates the displacement between the displacement and bump. So if you want to separate this uh, different layer, you want to have it uh, bake as separate layer onto your model in the brush. So I just have to go in the texture palette and then go uh, going to import the first tile, the first UDIM of my model. So my model has been uh, polygrouped by UDIM. So something that I do is to import the first UDIM, import the, the displacement for the first UDIM and then uh, do a flip V and uh, copy the texture. Once the texture will be copied, I will be able to go in the displacement tab. So in the subtool palette, in the displacement, I will apply my displacement by selecting it and then select an intensity. So once I will have the intensity that will be uh, set, I just need to remember this value because this value will be the same for all the different displacements that I will import onto this model. Also, do not forget to have a look at the uh, task manager of your computer because this, this process is usually intense for your computer. So every time you will try to beg the displacement and you will isolate by polygroup your model, um, the the amount of RAM that will be taken by uh, the brush will be will be huge. So you want to uh, go in the edit edit menu and do a delete undo in order to flush the RAM. So once you apply the displacement for the first tile, you want to do the, the same for the second tile. So just remember um, that you need to have your polygroups that are set by UVs. Once they will be selected, import your texture, do a flip V and make an alpha of your, of your texture. Then you go back into the displacement tab and you uh, apply the same intensity for all the displacement across the model. And having a look again at the task manager, you can see that this is a really easy task to do uh, for your computer. So you want to flush the RAM by going into the, the edit tab, the edit menu and do a delete undo. So that's, that's pretty easy to do. You just have to select uh, the uh, right polygroup and uh, remember the number of the tiles. So if you got Maya that is open on the side, so you will be able to find more easily the texture tiles that you are working on. Then you import your texture, you make it alpha, uh, you flip it and then you make it alpha and you apply with the same intensity. So once you will be done with all the um, all the layer for the displacement, something that you want to do is create another layer. And on this new layer, you will then import not the displacement if you are working with XYZ, uh, but you will import the bump layer. And you will just have to redo the same process for uh, all the tiles. So it's a pretty easy workflow. Uh, the, ju the, just, uh, the just one issue is that it takes a lot of time to do, but uh, it's totally worth it because you will see that you will earn a lot of definition into your model. So that's it for, vi for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this short tutorial and see you in the next one.